Hey, what's going on guys? Today I have a review of the Pocket Boost 4200 from Next Tech, as well as one of their 3-in-1 USB charging cables. I'm going to go ahead and kind of open up the box here, show you what's inside, and then use it for a little while, and give you guys my feedback on it. I'm going to basically just let my phone die and then charge it a few times with this battery using this cable. So if we open up the packaging here, it is taped on both sides, but I conveniently already opened one of the sides to spare you guys from that. We have a very cool looking battery here, which is just a very sleek design. It is a little heavy, but considering the capacity of it, it is not very bad. On the front of the device here, we have a USB out to charge your phone. We have an LED or a flashlight, and then we have our micro USB to charge this device, not your phone, but the pocket boost itself. To enable the flashlight here, you hold down this, and then the flashlight turns on, and then you can switch modes of the flashlight by pushing this button. So it's blinking now, I push it again, it becomes solid, and then turn it back off, you just hold it down. And to check your remaining battery, you just push this button once, and it lights up 25% for each LED on the remaining charge of the Next Tech battery. It's definitely very sleek and very, very well made. So other than the battery itself here, we get a few things underneath here. You can see that we do have a interesting cable here. It is just USB. Then we have a few different outputs, it looks like. So we go ahead and open up this little packaging here. You can see that we do have a few different outputs you can use. We go ahead and open it a little more. All right. So these are all the different outputs. We have our 30 pin for Apple devices. We have a mini USB. And then we also have a micro USB, which is pretty cool. Rather than just having one, we have all three of these. So to do that, you would just put it in here. And you can charge your phone or iPad using this. Unfortunately, there isn't a lightning adapter. But in the future, you might be able to buy one on Next Tech's website. So we, it is pretty cool that we have three different modes for output rather than just one cable we do in fact have three essentially so I'm probably going to charge my phone using this cable as well as this cable and I can tell you guys my results which one charges faster slower and how many times I can charge my phone with this battery and I will come back to you guys after I've used it for a while alright so I have been using this charger for a few days now it has fully charged the Samsung Galaxy S4 but it was pretty much dead after charging Samsung Galaxy S4, which is pretty surprising because this is supposed to have a much bigger battery than the Galaxy S4, but it was almost dead. It was one bar blinking after I charged the Galaxy S4, but I charged this device and then waited a day before charging my phone with it, and then it did that. But one time I charged this device right away and then immediately charged my phone with it, and my phone was completely dead. And it did fully charge my phone, so it does what it's supposed to do but it did not charge it any more than fully, which it should have charged it more than what how much it did, being a 4200 milliamp hour battery. This device has a 4200 milliamp hour battery and the Galaxy S4 has a 2600 milliamp hour battery. So it should have charged the Galaxy S4 about 1.6 times, but instead it maybe charged it one and then a little bit over one, but it definitely was not over one and a half. So I don't think it's actually 4200 milliamp hours, or maybe some power was lost through this cable or something like that, but it definitely did not charge it one and a half times. I did also use this cable to charge the Galaxy S4 and it did charge just about the same as this cable. This is the cable that is included with the charger and it is very, very nice because you only need this cable and you can exchange the different heads. So you can charge like a camera or something like that you can charge your Android phone and you can also charge your iPad or iPhone or something like that. Fortunately, they do not have a lightning charger, so you'd have to bring your own if you wanted to charge all of your devices with this battery. This this is the 3-in-1 charging cable that is available on Nextech's website. I did use both this cable and this cable to charge my Galaxy S4 and it did charge about the same this one charged a little less. I think it got to 100% charge and then it got to about 11%. And 
versus Vongatu about 17% after fully charging the Galaxy S4, of course, which of course was not 1.6 times charging the battery. That would mean that it charged the Galaxy S4 100% and then charged it again 60%, but it only went up to about 15% after charging the Galaxy S4 fully. This device is pretty heavy, but it does have a very nice little feature where you can check how much battery life is left. It also has a very nice little LED so you can use it in the dark or something like that if you're trying to plug your phone in at night. It is extremely useful. I really do like this LED here. It makes plugging your phone in at night much, much easier. The device itself is pretty smooth and it does feel very good. I thought it would get scratched really easily, but it did not, which is very, very good. Alright, so my light just died out there, but of course if you guys like to purchase this Next Tech 4200 milliamp hour battery. The link will be in the description. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in my next review.